Yo, what's going on guys? It's Blaze here, and uh, I know I haven't been making too much videos lately, but I wanted to tell you guys that I am indeed starting my Elder Scrolls Online walkthrough. Uh, I told you guys uh, that I was going to make uh, Elder Scrolls Online walkthroughs, Elder Scrolls Online videos. I did do a video of the quest where the five companions, uh, they show you the five companions attempting to light the dragon fires um, in the flashback. But now I'm actually going to create a character from scratch. I've already been playing through uh, my own little character, and I'm really liking this game so far, you guys. I really liked World of Warcraft, and I'm really, really liking this game as well. So um, we're going to go ahead and make a character. Uh, we're just going to... I'm not going to focus too hard on this, because this is just my walkthrough character. Um, this isn't my main character. But I am going to be doing quests. I'm going to be doing... Uh, Questline walkthrough of every uh, alliance, which is the Daggerfall Covenant, the Aldemary Dominion, and the Ebonheart Pact. My personal favorite is the Aldemary Dominion, mainly because of the location. I really like the Somerset Isles. Um, I think it's really, really cool. And I just I like the High Elves a lot. Although my favorites are Imperials, and I can be an Imperial, as you see. And um, and the reason why that is, is because I did buy the Imperial Edition of the game, because I was really stoked for this game to come out, because I've always freaking loved the Elder Scrolls. Um, I pretty much, if anybody's an Elder Scrolls fanboy, it's me, you guys. I really uh, like these games a lot, so. And I was really happy to finally see that an MMO was coming out, because like I said, I really enjoyed World of Warcraft, and this shares a lot of the same aspects. But then again, this doesn't require a monthly membership and everything like that, but enough with the uh, blabbering here, why don't we just get right into it, um, we're going to go with Aldemary Dominion, I can be any race in any alliance, I also did purchase the Explorers pack, um, so I have a lot of freedom in this game, freedom of choice, I can be an Imperial if I want, I can be, you know, a Breton in the Ebonheart pack if I wanted to, but we're going to go with the Aldemary uh, Dominion, we're going to start out with that, and uh, we're going to be... Why not a High Elf? Uh, we'll be a High Elf, since they are the, the main race of the Aldemary Dominion, and this is their veteran gear, and I really like Elven-style gear, you guys. I don't know about you, but I think it looks freaking awesome. And um, my favorite type of gear is Imperial gear. Uh, as you can see, I, <laughs> I really like the look of that, especially. Um, and it looks like, uh, you know, the, the Imperial Empire of Tamriel, so I think it's, it's pretty cool. But we're going to go with the High Elf. Mainly because I want to start off with the Aldermary Dominion quest line, because like I said, that's the one that I know the best. So for class, we are going to be a Nightblade. That is my personal favorite. I like the armor for it. Although I do think the Dragon Knight looks looks cooler armor-wise. I do like the that looks fucking stupid. That looks really fantastic. But I do like the Nightblade uh, class armor. Or, I mean uh, the Nightblade class itself. The armor's alright, but uh, I do prefer the Dragon Knight armor over that. So. Now that we got our, oh yeah, and that's, uh, that's no gear. So now that we got our, uh, character race and our, our class figured out, we're just gonna we're kind of rush through this, like I said. I'm not gonna focus too hard on it, I just wanna get a character made. Start doing the quests and shit, so... <clears throat> we'll go with muscular, you know, why not? Um... For fights? Uh, right about there seems good. Skin color, sure, why not? Body marking. Let's try and get some cool looking. That looks like he got uh, burned pretty badly there. Uh, that looks like he got his heart cut out, which would make sense because uh, you do technically lose your soul in this game. Because if you're not that familiar with the story of ESO, you do uh, get killed by Mana Marco, and that that's what sets the stage for um, the quest line of this game. You know, you're in Cold Harbor because Mana Marco has killed you, taking your soul. Um, so yeah, that would make sense to have your heart cut out. But uh, yeah, so let's see. Ooh, I do like that a lot. I do like the uh, eagle logo of the Aldemary Dominion. Plus, I like the color of his eyes. I think that really matches his uh, body marking right there. So, oh, that looks really cool too. <laughs> really, really shiny and uh, intricate and complex. And that that looks all right, but just a little too much in my opinion. Uh, 
of it. Kind of cool. That looks pretty cool. Looks like a shiny uh, golden tattoo, so that's that's pretty nice. Like I said, uh, a little too much there. You know what, you guys? My personal favorite is the dragon. I really liked that one. So I think we're going to go with uh, this. Because I really think that looks badass. I don't know about you guys, but I really like that. Torso size. Not too big. That'll do it. Uh, let's see. Gut size. There we go. Not too big of a waist. Want to keep it even. Yeah, you don't want to make your character too uh, awkward or, or, you know, demented in this game. Uh, because so at first when I rushed through the character creation, because I just wanted to get into the game, that was the first day it came out. I rushed everything and my character looked like a fucking Oompa Loompa. He was really bad, so I, I uh, remade my character and paid closer attention to it. So yeah, I would not recommend rushing through the character creation if I were you. So, uh, there, I don't really care about the hip size. No, we don't want our legs to be too big. We want it to kind of match with our body size. And then the feet, can't really get a good view of them. Head type. So I like the rug. I think that was pretty cool. I also like that little marking uh, he has on his face there. That looks pretty cool. H. No, no, no. Uh, sure, why not? It's alright. You know what, you guys? I think his head looks fine just the way it is. Um, I do like it already. He's pretty badass, so I'm just gonna skip all this shit. I don't want any beard. I'm I'm fine with the white hair, I think it looks alright. Uh, I don't mind the hairstyle. Eyes, they look fine. Name. Hmm, what should we do? Let's do something really, really, really uh, weird. Let's go with, uh... Glargus. <laughs> I don't know. Why the fuck not? Glargus. Uh, we are gonna play through the tutorial. Normally I would skip it, but I am here to bring you guys a walkthrough. So that's the, uh, that's it for this video. That This is just a character creation. So this is part one of my Elder Scrolls Online walkthrough. Um, stay tuned for part two. I'll have it out very quickly. I'm just going to do these all uh, within the same <laughs> uh, session. So it should be out fairly quick. So I'm just going to end this video, then jump right into the tutorial and start recording. So uh, please subscribe for more Elder Scrolls walkthroughs. This is Blaze, and I'll see you guys later.